Welcome friends and welcome to class. I'm Marish Matarbus and today we will explore together how to safely enter a headstand. We're gonna warm up the core first, so we're gonna do a quick flow uh, to get some energy and heat to flow through our body and uh, get some good strength um, to keep us up. Even though we are gonna go through a quick flow, I would recommend you to um, do a few rounds of sun salutation. I do have a video as well where I go through sun salutation A and uh, sun salutation classical that you can have a look if you're not sure and uh, get a few rounds of that, get a bit of warmth into your body before to come to the practice of headstand. If you're ready and pumping though, let's get started. that you're still trying or you know if you're still not super comfortable try it against the wall and uh, if you do want to try it away from it make sure there's something soft around you so if you do fall you're supported and you're not gonna hurt yourself if you are falling make sure to uh, be able to tuck the chin into your chest so you're just gonna protect your neck and roll out of the pose without hurting yourself. Let's go ahead and uh, come on to downward facing dog. So we're gonna come into this inverted V shape, finding balance between hands and, um, and feet. <laughs> Pressing the heels down towards the ground, the sitting bones are reaching up towards the ceiling, finding length into the spine. Finding an external rotation into your upper arm in a way that creates more space between shoulders and ears. If your armstrings feel tight, then maybe bend the knees and reach the torso towards the thighs. So you can find more length, more length into your back. Wherever you're at, we're going to take one big deep breath full together and exhale all the way out. Inhale, right leg reaches up towards the sky. Exhale, the right knee comes towards the right upper arm. Engage the core, keep the hips lifted. Inhale to reach that leg back. Exhale, right knee towards the nose. Inhale, all the way back up high. And exhale, right knee towards left upper arm. Breathe strong here. And inhale, all the way back. Exhale, knee towards the nose one more time. And then planting that foot between your hands. Lifting up into your high lunge here. Finding your balance, your stability. Pressing the hips down towards the mat, keeping that front knee bent over the front ankle. Soften the shoulders down. And exhale to frame the front foot. Step back into your plank and flow into your vinyasa. It can be full chaturanga, supported chaturanga, or knees, chest, chin. Inhale to find your back bend. And exhale to push all the way back into your downward facing dog. Same thing onto the opposite side. Inhale, left leg reaches back up high. Exhale, left knee towards left upper arm. Engage the core, press the shoulder blades away from each other. Inhale, press the leg back. Exhale, knee towards the nose. Inhale, left leg back up high. Exhale, left knee towards right upper arm. And all the way back, exhale knee to nose one last time, lifting high through the right toes and planting the left foot between your hands, coming up, high lunge, melting the hips down, keeping that front knee bent, relaxing the shoulders, inhale, 
and exhale to frame the front foot, stepping back into plank and flowing through your vinyasa. And exhale to meet back into downward facing dog. Nice. From here, we're gonna bend the knees, look towards the hands, step, jump, or float all the way towards the top, cross the feet, and come all the way to a seated position with your legs extended in front of you. And then we're gonna bring the soles of the feet onto the mat. We're gonna come into boat pose. Inhale to lean slightly back, engage the core, keep the chest open and the sternum lifting up. And bring the shins parallel to the ground. If you have your engagement here, release the hands forward, coming into bow. Inhale to bring the arms together at center. Inhale and exhale to twist towards the right. Inhale, bringing them back to center and exhale to twist towards the left. Inhale and exhale to twist, trying to keep the shins parallel to the ground, the core engaged, the sternum lifted. Keep breathing. As you're twisting, you're exhaling. As you're coming back through center, you inhale. A few more times. You can do this. Beautiful, we're almost there. And coming back through center, releasing the hands, maybe lengthening, straightening those legs. And exhale to release. Beautiful. It's not over yet though. Coming back to Oh. Coming back to that boat pose, we're going to release down half boat, just the lower back is touching the ground, inhale, exhale, inhale here, exhale to rise up, inhale, exhale, inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Beautiful job. Two more times. And release. Amazing. Anyone sweating already? <laughs> We're gonna roll over the legs. Come with the knees onto the ground. So here we're gonna bring the elbows shoulder width apart to double check that we can simply add opposite elbows and bringing them adjusting the stance. Then we're going to bring the hands together. We're going to interlace the fingertips. The right pinky comes onto the inside and we're going to bring the crown of the head straight onto the mat and the, we're going to lean the back of the head onto our hands. Once you found that stability, we're gonna tuck the toes, lift the knees up. We're gonna start walking the feet as closer to our face as possible until we feel the hips are stuck over the shoulders, maybe walking them a little bit further then, until we feel a pull of lifting the legs up. Here we can lift the left knee up towards the chest, then releasing it down, then the right, then release it. You can continue with this movement to see how it feels. Otherwise, we're gonna start move, bringing one knee into the chest, then maybe the other. And slowly, if you're feeling confident here, strong to lift one leg up towards the ceiling, and then the other to meet. Moving the shoulders away from the ears, noticing if you're crunching up and 
engage the core, engage the legs. Bring the feet to stack over the hips and the hips over the shoulders. Keep breathing here. Embrace all the wobbles. And then whenever you're ready, we're gonna bring one knee back towards the chest, bend the other, and release the feet down towards the ground. Taking a child pose straight away to release the spine, the neck. Maybe rocking the forehead from one side to the other. When you're ready, take your time. We're gonna come all the way up to seated. Beautiful job, guys. If um, it wasn't super easy and uh, you're not uh, ready to lift the legs up, that's okay, no worries. Keep working on your strength, keep working on your core and keep practicing and trying because if we don't try and if we don't train our mind as well to understand that kind of movement, then we're never gonna get there. So keep doing it, keep showing up on the mat and uh, you're gonna get upside down one day, I promise. Hope you had fun getting upside down and you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do subscribe to my channel so you can stay always updated. And uh, if you are practicing and you're taking some videos or photos, uh, do share them on Instagram and uh, tag practice with Mara so I can see you and I can share some love on your photos. Hope to see you soon.